Here's problem 8-1. A block slides on a rough horizontal surface from point A to point B. A force of magnitude 2 newtons, P, acts on the block between A and B as shown. Points A and B are 1.5 meters apart. If the kinetic energies of the block at A and B are 5 joules and 4 joules respectively, how much work is done on the block by the force of friction as the block moves from A to B? Let's see what we have here. We have a force P acting on the block is equal to 2 newtons. It's going to act at a 40 degree angle from the horizontal. We also have a force not indicated, <coughs> force of friction working against the motion of the block. And the block's going to move from A to B, a distance of 1.5 meters. And our displacement then is from A to B. So we're going in that direction right there. So actually we're going to have two external forces working on this block. We're going to have the work done by P, which is going to equal to P times distance D times the cosine of the angle between their two directions. In this case that's going to be P times D cosine 40 degrees because this P force is coming down like this and this D direction is going this way. So the angle between them it's going to be 40 degrees. We also have uh, the work done by friction and that's going to be equal to the frictional force times D times the cosine of the angle between them. This would be the frictional force times D. Now the frictional force is going to the left and D is going to the right so this is going to be an angle of 180 degrees which would be uh, cosine of that would be a negative 1. So this is going to be equal to negative frictional force times D. All right. We have, for this kind of uh, situation, the one equation to rule them all, which is that the kinetic energy at A plus the potential energy at A plus any work done along the way should equal the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. Now in this case, we're on a level plane and there's no springs involved, so the potential energy at A is going to be zero, and the potential energy at B is zero. In other words, we're, we're defining this level as being our zero height. So no potential energy is involved. We do have kinetic energy. We're told that the kinetic energy at A is five joules, and the kinetic energy at B is four joules. So we have those values. And then we have our two works. So right now this equation looks like this. 5 plus the work done by P plus the work done by friction equals 4 plus 0. All right. So we have, adding a negative 5 to both sides, we have the work done by P, which is PD cosine 40, plus the work done by friction is equal to 4 minus 5 or a negative one, negative one joules. We want to find the work done by friction, so we have that the work done by friction is a negative one minus PD cosine 40. So this is a negative one minus, and then the P is two, D is 1.5, cosine 40, I don't know, but let's figure out this all out. So 3 times cosine of 40 is 2.3. So this is going to be a negative 1 minus 2.3 or a negative 3.30 joules. That is the work done by friction. We actually didn't have to know the frictional force because we just wanted to find the work done by friction. So we went straight forward, found the work done by friction, negative 3.3 joules.